Hi guys, back on the foxes tonight again. I've had this phone call off this farmer. He has some ducks on a pond and uh, he's been losing ducks every night. And uh, there's a few half eating ducks behind me. And down there it absolutely stinks of fox. So I said I'd come and you know, try and sort him out. And I'm using, as usual, my Seiko 75 6 PPC. And I've still got the Aries 660 Thermtech thermal scope on the top. And uh, I am still enjoying using this, so yeah, it should be good. Anyway, that's all I want to say really because uh, it's edgy dark now and uh, it won't shot me if they're on the way, so let's get to it. This is where I'm going to shoot tonight. I can only shoot in this dark patch here. I don't shoot on the top because it's not safe. So anything in this dark here is safe for a shot. I'm going to put my Fox Pro in that tree there. I'm going to sit and wait for an hour. If nothing shows, I'm going to sing some tunes on my Fox Pro. So yeah, let's get to it. Simply lovely. Like I said, that's the bank I can shoot there. And uh, I'm only half, well, I'm on the top of that hill up there, so it's only 140 yards, 120 yards. It's, it should be a walk in the park to this thermal. Yeah, going back to my Fox Pro, I always take it with me every time I go shooting, but I try not to use it. I only use it if I have to, because uh, I don't believe in every time you go somewhere shooting to keep playing calls out loud because to me it sounds unnatural and uh, what you do is what I call is blow the countryside out of proportion because it's not natural to keep hearing all these screeches and sounds so what I do these days I'll sit and wait as long as I can and sometimes at the end of the night I might try a call but I'll see what happens first Also, like I've said in the past, I'll just lie you now and watch the evening go by. But I am using my thermal because we have a lot of grass and high rushes around here now. And even though it's still daylight, if a fox did come, you probably wouldn't just see it. So I'm using my thermal just in case. up an heat source here coming down behind this pylon but it's just an air so I just checked the Thermtech picture here just to make sure everything's spot on and I think you know who this rabble is here <laughs> because uh, they seem to follow me all over the place on this farm so yeah everything's set up now perfect I've just got to see if this duck killer does turn up the Thermtech here is in black heat and this badger turned up and we don't shoot badges here in the UK, so he gets left alone. Everything seems to be spot on. I've got the wind perfect in my face. It's probably about nine or ten mile an hour. And uh, yeah, there's no reason why if there's a fox here tonight I shouldn't see it. But anyway, we'll see. Just heard a pheasant being disturbed about 200 yards up this valley. Uh, Using that as a sign of a fox. So I'll just be quiet now.
fox here is about 50 yards in front of me. But he's down the dip and I can't just take the shot. But there's no rush because he's got his back to me and he's no idea I'm here. So I've got to just wait for him to move so I can get a better shot. I am talking here but you can't hear me so I'm doing a voiceover. But I'm just explaining that this fox were 50 yards in front of me and he had no idea I was there. You know, I had the wind in my face and uh, I was using thermal, which is, you know, this is the good thing about thermal. It's pure stealth and, you know, nothing is no idea there. And also this fox had caused a lot of damage and it was a good fox to get out of the way. We get hundreds of foxes around here. But what a few we get, you know, they do cause damage. So, you know, let's go and get it. <laughs> I've actually been looking for this fox, believe it or not, over half an hour. Because I knew he went down, but I marked him wrong. I thought he were over there, but he was actually just here. And uh, I won't show him too much because the VMAX has you know, done a number kind of thing. It's just there. But I'm going to get him now, pick him up and leave him for the farmer to see. So yeah, nice one. Uh, this is the fourth fox I've shot now with my Therm Tech and uh, yeah, it's been good. So thanks for watching for now and I will see you all soon. Here, I'm just checking the zero on my day state red wool. It's an FAC 25 doing 52 foot pounds with a 26 grain Hades. And I've also got the micro Alpex on the top. And I did this video probably six months ago, but I've never got around to putting it on youtube so here it is now i thought i'd put it with this fox video I'm just so to make the whole video a bit longer here i'm about 30 yards off a wall and this wall's behind the bin store and over the years, I've probably shot hundreds of rats in this wall. Come on, Barbara. Here, I've gone to the farmyard, and I'm just on walkabout really, just shooting rats on sight. But as you can see, this 2.5 doesn't half hit them with authority.
Anyway, that's it for now. And uh, once the weather finally picks up, I should be out fox shooting with the new Infra TD70 because I do like this scope. So thanks for watching and I will see you all soon.